So, my chemical bun mance. Yes. It is time once again for another one of Steve's Unpopular Opinions. Okay. And this week, I am peeling back the curtain and revealing a dark and twisted secret. Dun, dun, dun. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. Oh no, he was ready for that. So, Logan, the 2017 James Mangold smash, smash it blockbuster. Yes. That serves as a final swan song for Hugh Jackman, who, reports say, was euthanized immediately after finishing the Wolverine series. Very sad. Was he euthanized or was he neutered? I, be- I believe he was neutered and then euthanized. Oh, okay. He was neutered to make the euthanization easier. Ah. Anyway, we own the film. We have a copy of the film. We own the film. Mm-hmm. We have Logan. We own it. And, uh, wow. Amazing. Yeah, it and looked I, really good. And I love it. Yeah. Those are three things I'm supposed to say, but I won't because I haven't bothered to fucking see it. <laughs> and I know that this is an unpopular opinion, probably my most unpopular, unpopular opinion, but I want my comic book movies to be fun and funny and entertaining and not a sad fucking artistic drama. Yeah. I know this is a very, very minority opinion, but I want my Wolverine to be making jokes as he slices ninjas and smokes a, a cigar and walks away from an explosion in slow motion, all badass like. Yeah. But, like, I, I've read all the comic books. I've seen him do the Lone Wolf and Cub routine. Mm-hmm. I've read Old Man Wolverine. I've read him die. I've, I've seen, I've been there, done that. So watching an old, weaker, sad Wolverine do his Lone Wolf and Cub routine with a young girl who he no doubts dies protecting, that just sounds like a sad art film with a bummer ending. That's full honesty right there. Yeah, but this, the, the trail, I haven't seen it yet either, though. Uh, okay. But but first, I I have, well, I haven't been collecting comics. I've been, you know, Rushing up on, on my comic books through videos, um, yeah. so I did know something about the uh, old man Logan storyline um, from that. But when the trailer came out, who it just looked so fucking good, and especially especially since everything X has sucked so bad. Yeah, you know? yeah. So yeah. To, so to see. Wolverine, you know, to to like finally see fucking Wolverine, you know, yeah. And the and the Western setting really works for Wolverine a mm-hmm. lot. It just makes a lot of sense for his character. And then they they kind of do a bit of the same thing where they throw in some mutants. I don't even know who the fuck they are, and I don't care. You know, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it ties into that other movie I didn't care about? Great. Now, yeah. we, now we've uh, just squared it. <laughs> Daisy? Is that what you're talking about? Driving, Miss, driving Miss Daisy? Yes. Yeah, is that? Okay, that's what I thought. Right, right, because then Morgan Freeman would be in the Hugh Jackman role. Yeah. And, um... Professor X would would be Jessica Tandy. Yeah. 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 I'm supposed to drive you to the stove. I didn't touch your tuna. (laughs) (laughs) So, I I don't know. Like, I own the movie. We have the movie. But I don't think anyone in the house has actually seen the fucking movie. It's, 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 uh, I don't know. Like, I don't want to be sad right now. Especially but now, but now but see, I just don't want to be sad. But see, now you know? even with these different opinions, you already know that if I watch it and I don't like it, I am damn well going to say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the first words out of my mouth is like, "So, so Wolverine, they fucking got me again. They got me again. Yeah. They made me watch one of these shitty fucking movies." <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
but it just it just it just seems like a bummer and I, I bet it's a very pretty bummer but yeah. I don't know it just seems like a bummer and also uh, full disclosure take that entire conversation that we just had yeah and replace Logan with Rogue One because I haven't finished all of that. <laughs> I'm not, not a fan, man. This new Star Wars is just not getting me. It's it's just like when they announced Rogue One, I said, but wait a second, you're going to like create this like team of twelve people yeah. who got the plans for the Death Star, but where were they throughout all of Star Wars? Oh shit, they're all gonna die, aren't they? They're all gonna die. They're all gonna die getting yeah. the Death Star plans to Princess Leia. Oh, this is just gonna be a bummer. This is just gonna be a boring art film by the guy who just did Godzilla. You know what? I'm I'm not into that that much. And then, like, the movie came out, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to see it. I don't know. I'm not sure. And then Bella went to go see it, which was weird because cause, cause Bella... So anyway, I so she came home, and I'm like, so Bella, you, you went to go see Rogue One? Yes! And it was so... And I'm like, stop right there. I already know what happens. It's a bummer, isn't it? It's just so sad. And I'm like, okay, okay, you just, you just, you just cemented in me the reason why I don't want to see the movie. Star Wars is supposed to be swashbuckling. In my mind, yeah. Star Wars is swashbuckling and fun and funny. Not a fucking bummer. You were very sad because of the movie. Which is we it's weird that you saw Rogue One. Like, I don't think you've seen any of the freaking Star Wars movies. Nope. And I've been trying so hard to get you and Maxwell to watch the Star Wars movies, but it's difficult to... I watched them with you, actually. It's difficult to sit you guys down and make you guys watch a movie. You'll watch YouTube for three and a half hours, I'll watch it on but YouTube you won't then. sit down and watch a movie. So, yeah, I, I, I have not seen any of the new Star Wars movies in theaters. And they're, and they're also... Like in both movies so far, they've all been all been so minge faced, just all been like angst ridden. Like, yeah. like almost everybody in both of these movies, and it's like that's not Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars is calling somebody a nerf herder, which made us all laugh hysterically. Yeah, I the the thing that upsets me about um these star these star wars movies it, it, especially especially star wars it, episode 7 is just the original star wars was a, a good film independently yeah and even empire strikes back ended on like a cliffhanger but it was still a good independent film independent from all of the other movies in the series you could just you can just you can just watch Empire Strikes Back. You can yeah. just watch Star Wars. But when yeah. you go and see The Force Awakens, they know that they are going to be making 30 movies beyond this point. Mm -hmm. So the, the entire film had a very concentrated effort to not answer any questions. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's keep this vague. We, we Like, here, let's build up stuff that we won't answer for three other movies. And there are characters that are thrown in for fan service for people yeah. like, I don't want to have to have watched the clone fucking wars to see a movie. You yeah. know? Yeah. I don't mind if we're calling back to another movie. That's fine. That's how movies work. Don't call back to an animated TV show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yes, yes. But I want to. I want to see. I want to see Logan. I want to see. I want to see. I want to find out why why Wolverine has scars on his back. Yeah. Because he shouldn't be scarred. He's got the healing factor. Right. So anyway, that's my uh, unpopular opinion. I haven't seen Logan. I haven't seen Rogue One. I see that Rogue One is now uh, on Netflix, and it's like, ah. Eh. Maybe. Maybe. Netflix. Maybe. Well, just just to tag my my unpopular opinion, um 
just to tag off here, mm-hmm. for me, everything that Star Wars was, Guardians of the Galaxy is now. Yes. So fuck them. Yes, I I can agree with that. And let me tell you something. It's else. it's wild adventure. It's humor. It's fully actuated characters. Yeah. You know, you know who these people are, just like you knew who everybody was in the original trilogy. Yeah. And and let me let me tell you let me tell you something that weirds me out, something that bothers me. So, something that 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 I kind of don't like, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh-huh. Guardians of the Galaxy is coming out in three part 2 is coming out to own in 3 weeks. Yes. It's it, it's going to be available to download in 3 weeks and then I think a month from now is when it comes out on DVD. Uh-huh. When Ed Wood came out, this was 1994. In 1994 in the 90s, this is how it worked. The movie came out. You had to wait a year for it to come out on VHS. A year. Yes. For it to come out on VHS. Maybe even longer, but most of the time it was exactly a year. And then for the first year, you could only purchase it to rent Mm -hmm. in your video store. You could, a normal person couldn't buy it. You had to wait another year to purchase it. Mm-hmm. So so when Ed Wood came out, I immediately rented it the day it was available. And then I uh, I set up a camcorder in my room and recorded the TV playing Ed Wood. Yeah. So I could have my own bootleg copy of Ed Wood. And then my mom came in and started watching Ed Wood. And there's one specific part while they're filming Bride of the Monster that my mom sneezed during. Yeah. So to this day, when I watch Ed Wood, there's a part that where I expect to sneeze. <laughs> it's weird. I watched that. I watched my version a lot. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a good. It was a good bootleg. Nice. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry that much about the quality when it's a black and white film. You know. Yeah. You're not to worry about the color and the the tint and whatever. Anyway, um, I am really weirded out. That Guardians of the Galaxy came out three months ago. Yeah. No, it came out in May, and we're in July, and we're talking about how the movie's about to come out. I'm really weirded out by that. <laughs> I will never get. And it's to kind that. of unusual. I, I don't know why they wouldn't wait for Christmas on that. That's going to be a big seller. The last yeah. one was. Yeah. It's just weird. It's just weird. I'm weirded out by this. It's uncomfortable. I don't and, like it. And I shot you a message about this a while ago. I was really kind of high, but I still think it's valid. <laughs> okay. Because as far as I know, because I don't follow things like this really, I just get what catches my interest. Okay. I don't know what's supposed to be going on after Thanos. Yeah. But here's what I think should go on. Okay. And I have some hints that somebody there has at least thought of this. You flip it to one of the other Marvel universes. Now that's a good idea. You put Peter Parker in the center. Because if I'm not mistaken, Peter Parker in one of the other universes is basically Tony Stark. Yeah. He has his own huge company, and he invents tech things and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's what's happening right now in the comic books. Yeah, <clears throat> and because you know, you want you, you, we've got so many of the of the people that we have come to love who want out of the franchises now. Chris Evans, um, pretty much all of them. Chris Evans, uh, Robert Downey. Thor, whatever the fuck his name is, you know, um, and others that want to get out of the franchise. So if you switch universes, you can justify why Iron Man looks different. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can justify why Captain America looks different. I just want to say 
that I'm I'm really proud of you for calling him simply Robert Downey. <laughs> yeah. For reasons we will get into after the break. Yeah. But I'm really proud of you for just calling him Robert Downey. I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I, I was actually having a hard time remembering his name at all. So once I got Robert Downey, I was like, fuck the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, I, I got you there. You that know, is a good so, idea. One, so just restart the universe. Yeah. You know, anybody, anybody want to stay on? You can work. And then if if Robert Downey goes back to the to the meth, you know, and he's hard up for cash, you can always open a portal and he can come in for a cameo in one of the movies here or there, you know. Yeah, yeah. It still leaves room just... to see the original characters. Yeah, I was really happy with the new Spider Man film that Donald Glover, who was the center of a campaign to 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 get Sony to have a black Spider-Man. Yeah. And Sony said, no, Spider-Man is white. There is no black Spider-Man. To which Marvel said, oh, yeah, fuck you. We're going to make a fucking black Spider-Man. <laughs> so they made I... Miles Morales yeah. solely because it's like, okay, if people want a black Spider-Man, we're going to make a black Spider-Man. So they made Miles Morales, and then people were begging Donald Glover to be to to do a Miles Morales movie, and then that never came into fruition. So I when I heard that Donald Glover was going to be playing a part in the Spider Man movie, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be great if there was some sort of tie to that, yeah. or if he was secretly playing Miles Morales or something like that? But then I'm thinking, oh, wait a second, he's like 29. 30, 28, 30 years old now. He can't be playing like a 16-year-old who yeah. gets bitten by a spider. So, in the new Spider-Man movie, my, uh, Donald Glover plays a criminal named Aaron. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron Morales, who in the comic books is a former supervillain who is Miles Morales' uncle. Oh, okay. Aaron. And so Uncle Aaron finds out that his nephew is Spider-Man and starts using him. It's like, hey, hey, we're, hey, do you want me to go and tell your mom and dad who you are? Then you're going to do what I say. And, and this is what we're going to do. I'm going to help you fight crime because I know where all the bad guys are and we're going to stop them. He's <laughs> actually just he's actually just, uh, you know, clearing up the crime in New York so that he can be the only criminal in New York. Oh, nice. Yeah, and just using his nephew. But anyway, yeah, he's he's Uncle Aaron, the criminal from M Miles Morales's Spider-Man universe world. He even says in the Spider-Man movie, "Man, you're young. I have I have a nephew your age." Yeah. So I, I that's had... setting up that's setting up the possibility of a Black Spider-Man, and that's yeah. huge for me. You yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I had a much easier time seeing him as Spider Man than I do seeing him as Lando Calrissian, though. Oh, I'm so excited for him. I good, don't know. I think I, probably because they know him from from doing that one Man. stand up special and then yeah. Community. That no offense if you're listening. His face just looks funny to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I look at his yeah. face. I'm expecting to laugh. You know? Yeah. If you heard his, if you heard his latest album, yeah. you might be, you might be more uh, understanding of him as Lando Calrissian. Because Billy, Cause really... D, cause Billy D. Williams was fucking smooth. Yeah. That's do you have any idea? Do you have on. any idea how smooth Billy D. Williams was back in the day? What was he? Was he, he was the, so smooth? Forty five, or was he? He was. He also did the Cold Forty Five. Yeah, he did. He did a lot of other movies, um, besides besides um, Star Wars. Uh, he did Nighthawk with Sylvester Stallone. A lot of other shit. I can't think of everything. Batman, of course. You know. But He's my he was so smooth 
white people like to. Yeah. Yeah. But that is fucking smooth. I don't think Donald Glover is that smooth, man. But Childish Gambino's last album is one of the best R and B albums of all time. It is amazing. It is amazing. He's yeah. an amazing singer. And when you hear that, when you hear his l- latest album, then you can go, okay, maybe I can see him as Lando because that's a smooth ass album. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a Billy D. Williams level of smoothness in maybe. that last album of hits. It's fucking amazing and everyone should have it and listen to it all the time. It's fucking incredible. I, I think everybody wanted to fuck Billy D. Williams. Honey, did you want to fuck the lady? She's putting her hand up. My hand. Yeah. Nice. My hand's up. My hand's up, too. Out of respect. He was in Batman. Yeah. 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 I'd take a shot in the mouth. I, I, I might not admit it, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs>